Hey guys, if you clicked on this video, you already know what it is. We're doing a try on haul yet again. This Saturday, August 15th, Alphalete is having probably the biggest launch I have ever seen them do. It's insane the amount of stuff that's releasing. Some of it is older products coming out in new colors. Some of it is brand new products. There's a lot. But before I start trying things on, I did just want to have a little chat with you guys about Black Lives Matter. Firstly, all of the proceeds slash all of the AdSense that I make from this video, so from all the ads, will be donated to Black Lives Matter. So don't be skipping through the ads, let them play just this once in this video because it's going to a good cause. I'll be donating everything that this video makes. So there's that. Secondly, I wanted to briefly touch on Alphalete and Black Lives Matter because I physically cannot make this video without bringing it up. It feels like fake as hell and like very much not me to just kind of ignore it. I can't. So I did just want to touch on it super briefly. I know that Alphalete has no black athletes. Am I okay with that? Absolutely not. <laughs> I am fully aware that all of the athletes look goddamn identical, okay? I am a part of the problem, I know this. I know we are all size small, extra small, tiny little annoying fit bitches, okay? I am fully aware of this and I am working from within the brand to try and change that. I didn't just want to be like, peace, gotta go. I know that was like a popular thing that people were doing. They were just like leaving sponsorships and like making a statement, which is totally cool. But from my point of view, I would rather stay and try to help improve versus just like peace out. So just wanted to make sure that you guys know where I'm coming from. I would not be promoting these clothes if they weren't the freaking best in the industry. Like the absolute best. I have tried a lot of activewear, even freaking Lululemon, Nike, Adidas. It, they don't even compare to the quality of Alphalete products. Like I know the prices are up there. I know that they are. But honestly, I would pick Alphalete leggings over Lululemon leggings any damn day, easily. Everyone has their own opinions, but that's where I'm standing on that one. And I know it's a weird time in the world right now, still pandemic happening, especially out there in the US. So if you're tight for money or anything like that, please, please, please do not feel pressured to get anything from this launch. Like save your money if you need it. Buy food first, please. Like I don't wanna convince people to buy this stuff if it's not the right time for you. It's just clothes. You can get them at any point in your life. So those are a couple little things that I just wanted to mention to you guys first before we get into the actual clothing. Yeah. Next thing I want to mention is my sizing. So for bottoms, I am a size small across the board in shorts, leggings, anything. I'm size small. In sports bras, I am size extra small across the board. Actually in all tops, extra small, except for like the baggier loose crop top t-shirts. I grabbed a couple different sizes in those so that I could show you guys what the sizes look like. So when I get to those shirts, I will let you guys know what sizes I grabbed in those ones, but everything else, size small bottom, size extra small top. I am probably a 30A, 30AA, something like that. They've actually gotten smaller because I have lost a little bit of weight. Um, <sighs> Not too thrilled. I feel like my butt is gone. <laughs> yeah, my boobs also gone. Fantastic. Height, I am 5'5". Five, five. Weight, if I had to guess, I would be between 120 and 125 right now. No really idea. That could be completely wrong, but that's what I'm gonna go with. That's my guess. <laughs> and if this video does help you out, I'm sure you guys have probably seen me talk about this before, but I do have an athlete link with Alphalete and a code. It is just Gabby, and that helps me out a little bit. So I appreciate you so freaking much if you use it. 
I will try to respond to everybody who uses it and tags me on their story during launch. Yeah. Okay, so now we're gonna get to the clothes. I'm done chit-chatting. We are actually going to go buy fabrics today. So you guys have seen the Alpha Lux fabric before and that fabric is coming back. There are a lot of products coming out in the Alpha Lux fabric. So we're gonna talk about that fabric first. The Alpha Lux fabric is the softest and the stretchiest of the Alphalete fabrics. I wouldn't say it's super compression. It's more just like second skinned kind of feeling. It is sweat wicking. It is not sweat proof, at least on me. On people who don't sweat as much, I'm sure you wouldn't see sweat. But for me, if I get super sweaty, like if I do hit in any of these pieces, you can definitely see some sweat. Of course, it is not an issue for me. I have no problem with sweat. I think it should be completely normalized that people sweat when they work out. First, we're gonna talk about the pocket leggings, which have come out before previously. And the colors for these pocket leggings that are coming out is Lava Red, Shark Grey, Trident Blue, and Palace Blue. I have three of them here. This color is absolutely stunning. On camera, it comes off as like a little bit navy looking almost, but it is more of a very deep, like teal kind of blue. And this gray is stunning. This is shark gray. And then we have the palace blue here. So this is the palace blue that's coming out in these ones with the pockets on the side and everything. So cute. And the blue that came out last launch in the revival leggings is this kind of blue. So that one was a little bit darker compared to this one that's coming now. And the sports bra that came out last launch, this is in the called surface material. So that's that blue compared to this one. So this one is a little bit darker than this new palace blue. It is a very bright, vibrant blue. Really, really, really pretty. There's this little detail on the back. Really, really big fan of these ones. And with this darker color, you won't see as much sweat. Now with these ones, you definitely will because they're a nice light color. As for squat proofness, I find these ones to be all be pretty squat proof. Not too much to talk about for these. I have talked about them in previous videos, so not gonna go too crazy on those ones. And then the other legging that's coming out in the Alphalux fabric is a brand new legging. It is called the Essential Legging. And this is coming out in Shark Gray, Atlantis, Black, Jade Green, Sparrow, and Maroon. Okay, these are pretty crazy. So these leggings do not have a front seam. There's no front seam here, and this is to try to prevent the camel. Oh, I forgot to mention in these ones, the pocket leggings, I don't really get much camel toe. I only get camel toe if I'm really hiking it up my ass crack. That is the only time I get any camel. With these, even without that front seam, not gonna lie guys, I do get a slight bit of camel toe. And I only get it when I'm hiking up this butt crack thing up my ass. Camel toe is different for everyone. So even if I say that I get camel toe in something or don't get camel toe in something, it could be completely different for you. It just depends on your body shape, your hips, everything. So these lovely leggings, there is no detailing on them anywhere. There's no like stitching anywhere on the side. There's no pockets. They're just very, very plain, very, very basic. Again, in the Alphalux fabric, so they have that second skin kind of feel. I find these ones fit a little bit bigger than the pocket leggings. I don't know if it's just because there's no seams or anything to like hold you in or something, but I find that these fit like around the like pubic area, like down here, lower gut and like the waist that they fit a little bit looser. It, I don't know if there's just like a lot of fabric across this area, but it just feels like there's a lot of fabric here for me. I don't know if I maybe need an extra small right now. These are definitely bigger than the original Revivals. And I wouldn't even say bigger, they're just not as compression. These are like very, very thin, that Alpha Lux fabric. And I found these to be squat proof, at least the like very light, blue color that I tried on. I also tried on the gray. They seemed pretty squat proof for me. Um, again, that just depends. If you have like a bigger butt and you're stretching the fabric more, then it could be less squat proof, if that makes sense. Like if you're stretching fabric to the absolute limit, 
um, or if you're getting a size that's a little bit too small for you, then there's always the chance that something isn't gonna be a thousand percent squat proof. Moving on to some sports bras. So there is three sports bras coming out. First one is the Elite Bra, and this one has come out before. It has like that nice mesh butterfly back. Look at these freaking colors. Oh my God. In the Elite Bra, we have Shark Grey, Atlantis, Pearl White, Pink Sand, and Lava Red. These are just stunning. So I do wear extra small, as I said, in these. It has that nice like mesh back. I find these to be super, super comfortable. I find these ones to be a little bit more like medium to high impact. I find that they like really hold me in. Then again, I don't have anything to hold in, but I find them to be relatively secure. Now I did wanna compare this Atlantis color to this R6 color. So if you guys grabbed the R6 Revivals, which is that like thicker kind of revival, this is that blue compared to this one. They are very, very similar. Like almost the exact same. I'd like this blue a little bit better. It's more of a pure like baby blue. It's called Atlantis, which is so cool. It's like I freaking love Atlantis the movie and the actual place because it's totally real. Next up we have the Tri Bra, which is my absolute favorite sports bra that Alf like has. I'm wearing one right now. We have black, palace blue, jade green, trident blue, and pink sand. I am currently wearing the jade green one and we have the palace blue, so that really, really nice blue. I'll compare it again to the last blue that came out, just so you can see that difference. And then we have just the plain black one. Now what's different also between these bras is that they don't have the logo on the front. So last time they came out with the logo on the front on the surface tri bras, but these ones have the logo on the back. So the front is just completely plain, nothing on it, which I love. And then the beautiful pink sand. This color is so freaking pretty. And I did just want to compare this color to this pink that came out previously. So these are the halo leggings that came out in this like pink color. This is the bra compared to it. So it is like a much lighter kind of like baby pink. So, so pretty. I'm gonna be wearing this like crazy. Actually, if you have a night swim bikini and blush, this is very similar <laughs> to blush. And then we have the beautiful trident blue. I am really, really obsessed with this color. I hope it's showing up like properly on the camera. It's just such a nice like tone. Super, super simple. There's just the three straps in the back. Very simple, clean front. Definitely my favorite sports bra from Alphalete. And I love how they have the thin straps. So I like to go hiking in these bras because then, you know, less tan lines and everything. So every time I go hiking, I wear one of these bras or if I'm like walking outside or doing an outdoor workout, these are my go-to. And then we have the Supreme bra. Now I don't have any of this. I don't know if I'll be getting it later on. If I do, I'll be sure to post on my Instagram story. So make sure you follow me on Instagram so that you can check out all the things that I don't have because there is a couple items that I don't have in this package. So the notes we have here for that is that it runs big, so you should size down. So it probably fits kind of similar to the Halo bra, at least from the pictures that I've seen. It's kind of like a crop top style. It'll come down more to your waistband. That comes in black, sparrow, and maroon. Last but not least, this isn't a sports bra, but this is the last item in the Alpha Lux material. And there's only one color of this one, and it's just called a crop tank, and it just comes in this pink sand. And I really, really like it. I don't know why there's only one color of it, because it's super, super cute. It's just this like little pink crop with like a nice big scoop neck. It has a little detailing here on the side. The back is like completely closed. Yeah, I don't know why it only comes in the one color. Maybe they're just trying it out. That is everything in the Alpha Lux material that's coming out. So now we're gonna move on to the seamless fabric. We'll talk about the OG Revival leggings first. These come in quite a few colors. They come in almost all of the new colors. We have Sea Pebble, Shark Grey, Paradise Pink, Jade Green, Atlantis, Palace Blue, and Violet Sunset. Can we just appreciate these freaking colors? If you follow me on Instagram, is this not my like complete Instagram vibe? Like these are my absolute favorite colors. Is any sort of like pinks, purples, blues, greens, these are my favorite colors. 
I'm so excited about this freaking color palette. Now these fit quite snug. They are very compression-y. <laughs> like very high compression. The waistband is very tall and really like sucks you in. So these are definitely the tightest fitting of the three leggings. Because these do fit a little bit tighter, I would, if you're between sizes, a thousand percent size up because the waistband does fit quite snug. I they fit a little bit small. So if you're worried with them being really tight on your stomach, I would definitely size up. I think my stomach is 26. My waist is 26 around. Now I wanted to compare this color here to this color. This is the surface, the ones with that, the V in the front, the surface path leggings that have come out before. So I know there's a couple sports bras in these ones. So if you guys have those sports bras, they would look really, really nice with these ones. It's just like a little bit of a lighter version of this one. These are the Halo leggings that came out previously and these are the Revivals coming out now. This one is like almost like neon kind of vibes, whereas this more is more of like a baby, true kind of pink color. And the sports bras actually don't match this. Like these are not the same pink, but like I would still wear these together. I actually prefer when stuff is a slightly different tone. I feel like it's just less like in your face full set. I actually really, really like this kind of vibe, this kind of style, where the colors, like, it's still all pink, but it's like a different shade. You know, I really, really actually like that. And then I will also compare, these are the Atlantis color leggings. I did want to compare that again to the R6s. So there you have it. This one is like, oh, this is such a pretty blue. It's so, so nice. This is the, in the Alpha Lux compared to the Revival. Very, very, similar if not like kind of the same color just because it's different fabrics it looks slightly different but like I would definitely still wear these two together and next up for seamless is the biker shorts the biker shorts are back right here um, I actually have all four colors so these are the four colors coming out in the biker shorts there's sea pebble jade green palace blue and violet sunset coming out in these ones. This was the last launch. These are the like the kind of bluish green ones that came out and these are the jade green ones coming out now. White quite similar, like if you have these, you don't need to get these as well. They're very similar. These ones just have a little bit more of a blue kind of teal color compared to these new jade ones. These ones would go with like this kind of sports bra, even though again, not completely matching. And then we have the Violet Sunset one, which I just showed you guys. These are the same in the leggings and in the shorts. And then we have the palace blue. Now the palace blue does look a little bit different in the seamless material than it does in the Alpha Lux because with seamless material, they work white, like a white kind of like marbling into the fabric. So it makes the color look a little bit different. Now I will compare the palace blue to the leggings that came out last launch. So these leggings are the revivals that came out last launch compared to this palace blue. So last launch, they were definitely a lot darker, whereas these ones are a little bit brighter. These are some old revivals. These are actually the ones that have like the triangle gusset. That's these ones compared to these palace blue. This is the closest in color. In fact, these are like extremely close in color. And now onto Sea Pebble. So Sea Pebble is basically black, but not quite. It's kind of like an off black. Last launch, we had these dark gray Revival leggings come out. They also came out in the Bikers, these ones. And this is that new one. So it, it really looks like black. Like it's very, very dark. This is a true black compared to these. Like I would say that they're very, very similar. Finally, we have the crop tops. So these are those little like crop top t-shirts that also came out in the seamless fabric. So I have the Atlantis color and the Violet Sunset color. And I did grab extra small this time. Last time I had size small, they accidentally sent me smalls and they were a little bit big. Extra small is definitely my true size. And these come in all the same colors as the OG Revival leggings. So again, Sea Pebble, Shark Gray, Paradise Pink, Jade Green, Atlantis, Palace Blue, and Violet Sunset. And that is everything for the seamless. Great, now <laughs> we're moving on to some kind of extras. Those are all the like gym clothes and then we have some other items. I really just have to talk about these pants first because these 
are a game changer. I have been waiting for some oversized joggers from Alphalete and these absolutely nail it. These are probably one of my favorite things from this launch is these amazing oversized joggers. So these are called the Varsity Jogger. They come in black, stone gray, and sparrow, and I have black and sparrow. They're almost like a men's jogger. Like that's how they fit on me is like a nice baggy like men's. Like it's like you throw on your boyfriend's joggers. Oh my God, I love them <laughs> so much. And they have this really, really cool crest. I'll actually show you it on the sparrow because you'll be able to see it a little bit better. But they have this really, really cool crest on there. The tie is so interesting. I've never seen a tie waistband like this where it's actually a loop and you just pull it tight like this. It's actually really cool. So I got these ones in medium and they're absolutely huge. Like you definitely don't need to size up. I got the sparrow ones in medium and in the black I have the small and they're still oversized in the small. So you can get your normal size and they will still be oversized. I was just worried that they weren't gonna be oversized enough for me. So with the like this little attachment thing, I can still wear the sparrow ones. I just have to like tighten it more, but I'm absolutely obsessed with these. They're super, super soft on the inside, so comfortable. In the try-on, I wore them more kind of like low-waisted, but you can easily hike them up and make them more high-waisted, completely no problem with that. They have this really cool stripe down the side. They have like a closed ankle. I'm obsessed. I really, really like these pants. They're so freaking cool, so comfy. I'm gonna be wearing these all of fall and all of winter. Let's do some signature crops. So I have a bunch of these, these signature crops. They're just basically these cute little oversized t-shirts. Now these are definitely more oversized than the previous, any sort of little crop t-shirts that have come out. They have this nice like cursive alpha lead logo across them really really like this yellow color it's super super cute in these we have a lot of colors blackout tide pool which is this color here which i got in a large just to compare i'll compare it to this which is a small honestly there isn't as big as a difference as i was hoping that's kind of effed up the small compared to the large is not as different as i was hoping it was gonna be then we have pearl white Sea Breeze, which is this one, which is actually a really, really nice color. It kind of has like a little bit of a white marl to it. Summer Sun, which is that yellow one that I showed you. Storm Gray, and then White Stone, Jade Green, and Riptide. Oh shit, I think this one's actually Riptide. Is it? I don't know. I honestly don't know. It could be Tide Pool or Riptide, who knows? <laughs> this is the Jade Green one. So really pretty colors. Again, the colors are not the same across the board, which I'm not mad about. I don't know if you guys are gonna care, but like, so this is the jade green essential legging, so in the Alpha Lux, and this is the jade green crop. So again, like not the same color. This one's more of a minty. This one has a little bit more blue, even though they're both called jade green. Here is this blue one. So this one is sea breeze. So it's not even called Atlantis, this one's a completely different color, but this is compared to Atlantis if you guys wanted to see those two compared. I am all on the color comparisons today. So we also have some crop tanks. I only grabbed two of these as well. So I usually wear the cropped versions of these, but now we have some full length versions. So these are actually really cool. These are super comfortable. I will probably just be like wearing these around the house. They're just a basic tank top, I guess, but you guys have definitely seen me wear the cropped version of these. These are both in extra small, I believe. Yes, extra small. Um, they do have some cropped versions of that too that'll be on the website, but we have white, black, galaxy gray. Um, I think that's it. And then we have the ultra soft line. I have a couple items from that. These tanks are my absolute favorite. I wish I grabbed a couple more. I wear these all the time. I have like the plain black one, which you guys have definitely seen me wear. I have a gray one, which I wear all the time, a white one. These are just so soft. This is like the softest fabric I have ever felt. No wonder it's called ultra soft. Like it's absolutely amazing. So this is Bluebell, the color Bluebell. So the other colors in the tank, we have black, bluebell, red, yellow, and white. In the signature crop, which is a new tank, it looks like this. So this fits very similar, if you guys remember, to those cross tanks that had the little strings that came down that you could tie around yourself. 
This is like the same crop length as that, very similar. It just doesn't have the strings. It just says elf elite there on the side. I've got extra small on these as well. Now these, I will say, you will probably see sweat in these because the fabric is so thin and so silky soft. So that is why I like to get them in black because I can wear this and you're not gonna see the sweat. I personally would not wear the ultra soft items to the gym. I prefer to just wear a sports bra, but you can of course throw these over a sports bra, go to the gym, or if you're like going for lunch first and then the gym, like throw this on. There is one more item that I don't have and that is the active shorts. These look so cool. Okay, I've never really had active shorts like this before. They're like performance based, they're high waisted, they have like a curve on the bottom and the colors of these are black, gray, navy and mauve. But yeah, I don't have these right now so I can't try them on for you guys. If I get them in time, I will post them on my story and let you know what I think of them. And then we do have some lovely little thongs coming out. This fabric is insane. Like it's like slippery. That's how silky it is. Like it's crazy. If you're looking for underwear to wear under leggings, this is definitely what you want to wear because they're so freaking thin. Like I wish I could even explain to you guys how, like these are paper thin. They don't have any seams, very soft. These ones are a little bit more high-waisted than the previous ones. I found that in previous launches of the underwear, they weren't as high-waisted. These ones sit a little bit higher up on my hips. And again, they are just so damn silky soft. Now, I personally don't really wear underwear, especially under leggings. I never wear underwear when I go to the gym. It's just not as comfortable. Then, we have some super fun slides. We're getting into a little bit of accessories here, but we have these really fun Alphalete slides and they are so comfortable. They have like a nice squishy padding. So that's these bad boys. I'm usually a size seven and a half in shoes and I grab these in an eight and they are like slightly big. And then we do also have some dad hats coming out. There's actually a lot of different colors of those ones. There's a lot of men's stuff coming out too. I'm gonna briefly touch on some of the men's stuff because the men's has a lot of the, that like really cool kind of like crest logo. So we have the competition long sleeve, which has the big crest on the back, super cool. And then we also have the competition cutoff, which has like the little crest here. There's also the varsity joggers for the guys. They also have the varsity shorts, so damn nice. Yeah, there's a lot of cool stuff for the men's with that new Alpha Elite crest. There's a lot more of that crest worked into the products compared to the women's. That's it for this haul, you guys. Um, if you got to the end, thank you so much for sitting through this. Again, all the AdSense is going to be donated to Black Lives Matter. You guys, I would not be promoting this shit unless I truly believed in the quality of these clothes. The quality is just unmatched and it, everything just seems so like adult to me. I find a lot of activewear brands these days seem like very young almost, like they just look kind of like childish <laughs> almost I guess. Whereas I find these pieces are just very like luxe. <sighs> yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really hope it helped you out. If you have questions, please email me. Yeah, let me know what you guys grab. Again, the launch is on Saturday. Thanks guys.